Hey guys, what's up? It's Hijabi Reviews here. And today I'm gonna be showing you what I got at Dollarama. I just ran ran quickly to go get some stuff that I needed and I wanted to show you guys since it's been a minute since my last video. Yeah. So I just I just picked up a few things that I needed and it's, it's not much, but it's good. That's for sure. <sighs> I, these days, because of the pandemic, I only spend thing, uh, money on things I really, really need more than once. Like, say that I wanted to, you know, sew something or crochet something. I, I, I don't know, like, I would try to make the tools at home instead of buying it. You know, stuff like that. So, the first thing I got is this dual pack toothbrushes. Meaning I got two instead of like three or four or whatever Colgate makes because I know Colgate uh, makes a whole like eight pack of toothbrushes instead But those also get expensive. So I just decided to pick this up From Dollarama. It's from the brand Contour. They actually work pretty good So if you're in the market for cheap toothbrushes and don't really have a lot of time, I would recommend these as you know an alternative to maybe your normal Colgate toothbrushes. The next thing I ended up picking up was these scissors. These are like craft scissors, but they could be used for just about anything that you need, not just crafts. The next thing I picked up is this twin blade razors sorry these this 12 pack of twin blade razors that's what i meant disposable razors yeah 12 in a pack i honestly wish that these brands these cheap brands made five blade or even six blade razors with actual uh, ribbon moisture ribbon strips I mean, if you want to use a razor that has only two blades, you can if you want to. You just might not end up with the the best results. But if you you have to save a few bucks, it's relatively okay. And the last thing I ended up picking up was this hairbrush because I needed another hairbrush for myself. It's from the blend. Yeah, excuse me. It's from the brand Flexies for a buck fifty at Dollarama. That is all the things I picked up today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm sorry it couldn't be more, but I'm terribly busy some days and I can't really film a lot. So yeah, this is, this is like a short video. Hopefully next week, I'm hoping that by the time it becomes the long weekend, because you know in Canada we have Victoria Day and all that stuff, we, you know, all that jazz. So I'm hoping to film some fireworks shows for you guys. My neighbors do really good fireworks. They're nice. They're safe. They're good. Sometimes there'll be an occasion where they're not that great, or you know, a neighbor will tend to step out of line or something like that. But that's a rare occurrence that somebody will just go haywire with it but it does happen especially where i live oh goodness you know it's just one of those things where you know the law needs to get stricter and all that stuff cops need to be you know enforcing the rules a little bit more just a little bit that extra mile is always good but sometimes you just gotta like sometimes there's nothing that can be done it depends but yeah I, if i do see some of my neighbors you know, deciding to put on their own shows because that is most likely what's going to happen. I, I, there, two things could occur during this time period. Uh, there could be a professional show uh, that I could get tickets for and then go show you guys by the by a, a river or a lake or something, or one of the neighbors will just end up doing uh, a show themselves, which, in my opinion, is risky and I do not recommend. It's hard to set up sometimes, and it can often lead to a lot of injuries. But, you know, to each their own. Okay, so hopefully next week I can upload a video of, well, not even just one video. I'll probably upload, like, a ton of videos of uh, fireworks. It really uh, depends, because 
uh, in my area, they just drop the trailers off and uh, you know those, uh, I'm, I'm not going to say the pickup truck, but it's one of those flatbed trucks that, uh, you know, um, it's, sorry, <laughs> I was going to say, it's a flatbed truck uh, that comes in with a, a shipment container of fireworks and they come and drop it off at the nearest parking lot. Which, uh, I'm not sure how or why, but sometimes when they do drop it off, there's other... Like, I'm not trying to ramble or anything, but sometimes what'll happen is, like, um, uh, they'll drop the trailer off in, the, in a parking lot, and uh, there's, other, there's still cars around there, you know, they'll do it midday, there's still cars. Like, what if something happens? You don't know, right? I don't know why... Vendors tend to do that a lot in Canada. Comment down below if you've ever had that happen to you. You you you, uh, you go to a, a a store or a mall or something, and you see a trailer there, and there's still like cars surrounding it because there's parking spots. I guess it's considered normal, but you know you should make a sign. They should make an effort to make a sign that says, "Hey, listen, the fireworks trailer is going to be parked right here. Please do not park on either side." That's pretty scary, you know, because the trailer, no offense, but it's left alone for a very long time, I've noticed. And then the salesman comes into the picture later. But what if it's too late by then? You know, they got to really start beefing up the rules about that. But I guess that's just the norm and it always has been and probably always will be. But yeah, um, I'll let you know what's going to happen next week. I honestly hope that next week is going to be really, really good. You know, we're going to get a lot of shows in. I'm going to be able to show you guys, you know, what some real good fireworks look like. <laughs> Not that you haven't already seen that because this is YouTube, of course. But yeah, I will see you guys next week for, um, for the fireworks. I don't do fireworks of my own because I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't do that stuff. I don't believe in that nonsense. But yeah, I, I will definitely film some shows for you guys if my neighbors are doing them, okay? Peace out, guys. Bye.